There seems to be a lot of nonsense about how to run your online fitness business properly. In today's video, we are going to cut through the fitness fluff and get real about building online fitness empires. Today, I'm throwing you into the battlefield of online fitness businesses, and we're not here to hold your hands. We're diving into the raw, unfiltered playbook. No excuses, no sugarcoating. If you're not ready to hustle and implement, you might as well click away now. We're talking about how to dominate in the online fitness game, not just play in the kiddie pool. So buckle up, drop the soft mindset, and let's get into action that separates the winners from the wannabes. I'm Eric Anthony Klima, CEO of PT Legends, where we redefine the damn rules of the online fitness industry. Let's cut through the shit and make your online fitness business a force to be reckoned with so that you can make more money and dominate in the online space. Step one is identifying your passion and expertise. I'm gonna give you an actionable plan for a niche. Now, if you're feeling lost about your fitness passion and expertise or your niche, stop the confusion. Without a clear focus, you'll end up swimming in the sea of mediocrity and your audience won't give two shits about you. Now, this is gonna be your wake-up call and a damn straightforward, actionable plan so that you can find your fitness mojo and find your niche. Get real with yourself, stop the fluff. What makes you jump out of bed? Identify your genuine passion, not what's trending. Two, quit the imposter syndrome. What are you damn good at? Try to identify your unique skills, your strengths, and no false modesty. Three is define your ideal client. Forget trying to please everyone. You'll make a lot more money by focusing on one small niche. So try to picture your ideal client and what challenges do they face? What pain points are they experiencing? How can you uniquely help them overcome these challenges that separates you from your competitors? Four is sneeze down or shut up. Enough with the vague, crappy, same stuff that's all around the fitness industry that everybody's putting out there. We have to niche down and you have to be the expert in a specific area, not a jack of all trades. So the next steps for you is no more soul searching procrastination. You got to get real. Share your newfound clarity or keep wondering why you're stuck in the fitness limbo with everybody else. Step two is crafting compelling content. Now, most of you might be feeling lost in the content chaos, unsure how to captivate your audience, not getting the reach, not getting the likes that you feel you deserve. With the vast sea of fitness content, it's pretty challenging to make a lasting impression. Now, random workouts aren't gonna cut it. You need a strategy that keeps your audience eagerly waiting for your next post. We need to stop the excuses. So here's your action plan to create content that demands attention. Step one is to brainstorm killer content ideas. We have to stop overthinking and start brainstorming content that your audience craves. We need to inject variety in your workout content, nutrition insights, success stories. You have to keep it fresh. You have to nextly master attention, grabbing headlines. You gotta learn the art of compelling headlines that make scrolling minds pause. No more boring shit. We have to captivate or you're gonna get ignored. Next is visuals matter and they matter a lot. You gotta invest time in eye-catching visuals. Video videos, images, whatever it takes. Don't be a lazy fuck because visuals speak louder than the words. Next, and this might be the most important part that many coaches skip out on, is engage, don't bore. No more monologues. We have to engage with your damn audience. You have to respond to comments, you have to ask questions, and you have to build a freaking community. Most importantly, is consistency is not optional. Stop being lazy, commit to a damn posting schedule. Be a content machine your audience should crave your next post and be a reliable source. So your next steps are stop the excuses and start implementing immediately. Now Charlie Munger says, if you are consistent and you have none of the other attributes, there's still a really good chance that you're gonna be successful. It's very tough for people who are consistent for them not to be successful. In my opinion, this is the most difficult virtue for coaches to stick to because we're so addicted to the outcome. If you wanna guarantee the opposite of success, don't be consistent. Because the greatest way to stay poor or not build a business is not being consistent. And consistency is boring in most cases. Boring is the follow-ups, writing content, posting content, messaging 100 people, etc. But guess what, boring makes you rich. So no more whining, share your progress, be consistent or shut up. 
Step three is leveraging social media. And I'm gonna give you an actionable plan for this. Most of you are navigating through the social media maze, uncertain which platform is right or fit for your brand. It's a dilemma many might face. Choosing the wrong platform could mean missing out on your target audience. Your engagement might be lacking and growth could be slower than expected. But we gotta cut the crap. And here's your unfiltered plan to conquer social media. Number one is you need to know your damn audience. This goes back to the niche stuff. Figure out where the hell your audience hangs out at and choose platform that makes sense, not where your grandma shares cat memes and stupid shit. Next, we have to adapt or die. You have to tailor your content for each platform and you gotta adapt or you're gonna get buried. Social media algorithm is constantly changing. And Instagram isn't Facebook, TikTok isn't LinkedIn, so you gotta get with the program. Analytics are not for pansies. You have to dive into the analytics, know what's working and what's flopping, and adjust your strategy based on real data, not wishful thinking. Next thing is engage like your business depends on it. Stop being a social media wallflower and start engaging. Respond to comments, DMs, create conversations, or honestly, you're gonna get left behind. So the next step is Quit the platform hopping excuses. Focus where your audience is at. No more excuses and implement this plan now. Step four is mastering sales and marketing. And let's get into an actionable plan for that. Most of you are struggling to turn leads into loyal clients, communicating your value and your offer effectively. It's a common struggle and hurdle without effective sales and marketing, potential clients might not grasp the transformative power your fitness program offers and trust building becomes a challenge but again we need to quit the excuses so here's your in-face plan to master sales and marketing first thing we need to do is understand that sales is not sleazy it's necessary so stop demonizing sales it is your lifeline we need to hone in on your pitch and clearly communicate the damn transformation that you offer next thing is social proof or shut up no more empty promises show results, collect client testimonials before and after photos, text messages, screenshots, because social proof is non-negotiable. Next thing is marketing that doesn't suck. Get rid of the generic marketing and tailor it to your brand. Your marketing should be as unique as your damn fitness program. It should be a representation of who you are. Next is cut the bullshit jargon. No one cares about your fancy fitness terminology. Talk the benefits, not the features. What's in it for them? Sell the transformation, not the product. So your next steps is quit avoiding sales. Embrace it like it's a, a necessary evil. No more fluff, implement this plan, or watch your competitors simply just shit on you. Step five is providing value beyond workout. The problem is most are feeling lost in a saturated market and not sure how to stand out. There's a lot of online fitness coaches out there. Many of them are crushing it. It's a crowded digital fitness arena and it's just growing to multiple billions of dollars. And mere workouts routines won't cut it through, through all the noise. Everybody's posting workout videos. To truly stand out, you need to offer more valuable resources that go beyond the routine. You gotta wake up because here's your reality check and the action plan to provide value beyond just simple workouts that you can get in Muscle Magazine. So go beyond the damn workout. Stop being one dimensional and offer more. You can do blogs, you can do webinars, you can do YouTube videos like this, you can do challenges five day free challenges and become a valuable resource hub. Because the problem is solving content, not ego boosting. No one cares about your ego, solve their problems. Your content should be a solution, not a brag fest. Next thing is educate, don't dictate. Don't be a fitness dictator, be an educator. What you wanna do is share knowledge, empower your audience, and be that go-to source for your audience, that solution that they can rely on. So your next steps is enough with the generic bullshit workouts, and start providing real value, things that solve the problems. No more excuses, implement this plan, or you're gonna get lost in the fitness noise and left behind. Step six is embracing technology. Problem is, a lot are struggle to adapt to the digital age, unsure which tech tools to embrace. In a world of evolving at the speed that we are with tech, embracing the right tools becomes a challenge. Without streamlined communication and efficient processes, managing an online fitness business can become super overwhelming. 
but you got to cut the excuses. I found myself in the same position, avoiding the discomfort of learning new tech because I didn't want to learn it because it was new. So instead, you want to audit your tech toolbox. Stop being tech ignorant and know what tools that you're using and get really good at using them. So what I want you to do is audit your tech arsenal, the applications you're using, the platforms, the automation tools, and streamline your client communication. So you gotta quit the email chaos and embrace organized communication. So choose a platform for streamlined client interactions so you don't have any confusions. Next is you gotta automate, don't procrastinate. Ditch the manual tasks and automate where possible. Automate client reminders, progress tracking, save time, get efficient, and enhance the client experience through tech. Tech isn't just for you to you know, uh, make your life easier, but it's for your clients too to get better results. So use apps for personalized workouts like Trainerize, progress tracking, and elevate their experience. Your next steps is to embrace tech like it's your fitness partner. No more tech phobia or laziness. Implement this plan or drown in a digital chaos. Step seven is community building. Finding it challenging to foster a, a sense of community online can be, I get it, it can be challenging to get people engaged in your community. But building a community goes beyond a few social media posts without an act of participation and a sense of belonging, your clients might not feel connected. But the reality check is like building community that doesn't suck can be extremely beneficial for your long-term recurring revenue. So we gotta foster genuine interaction. Stop being a community spectator and foster interaction. Ask your, your clients questions, start discussions, be the damn community catalyst. Another thing that you can do is host um, live sessions. No more hiding behind posts. Go live and host live sessions, Q and A's, and let your personality shine, right? Create exclusive groups for your clients, not generic groups, they won't cut it. Be exclusive. Create groups for your loyal clients like VIP groups and make them feel special. And in those groups, encourage user-generated content. Don't be the only content creator, let them shine as well. So encourage your clients to share their wins, their struggles, and build a real community. As a bonus step, what you can do is get them to share that on their social media to leverage their audience and push them to your page as well. So your next steps is no more community neglect. I know it can be tedious work, but start building a tribe. Implement this plan or you're gonna be forgotten and you're gonna lose a lot of recurring revenue. In conclusion, guys, you've just been hit with the hardcore truth bombs on how to unleash hell and run a kick-ass online fitness business. No more excuses, no more bitching. It's time to take action and watch your competitors eat your digital dust. This isn't a fairy tale. It's a fitness reality check you've been avoiding your whole life. I'm Eric Anthony Klima, the no shit taking CEO of PT Legends and I don't play nice. If you made it this far, it's decision time. Implement these damn strategies, hustle harder than you ever have, or stay stuck in the averageville. I'm not here to cuddle, I'm here to turn your online fitness business into a powerhouse. So what's it gonna be? The winners are already taking action while they're watching this video. This is your host, Eric Anthony Klima from PT Legends, where mediocrity goes to die and legends are born. Get off your ass, make it happen, and let's redefine the damn game.